Step two, create a Stat Tools dataset. Before you can analyze any dataset with Stat Tools, you must first perform one very simple step. You must create a Stat Tools dataset. To do this, select any cell inside the dataset, then click the Dataset Manager button on the Stat Tools ribbon. Respond yes to whether you want to create a Stat Tools dataset, and you will see the following dialog box. It provides quite a few options, such as giving a descriptive name to the dataset, like bank data, changing the data range, although StatTools usually guesses it correctly, and applying cell formatting for emphasis. The rest of these, you can usually accept the defaults and click OK. Once you click OK, you will see several changes. If you checked Apply Cell Formatting, the top row of the dataset will be painted blue, and other minor formatting changes will be apparent. This reminds you that you have a StatTools dataset. Second, the columns have range names, such as ST, Age, ST, Employee, and so on. Most importantly, you will be able to perform StatTools statistical procedures on the dataset, as explained shortly. In fact, the rest of this tutorial works as shown only if you have created the StatTools dataset in this step. If you save this file and then reopen it, the StatTools dataset will still be in effect. This means that you have to perform this step only once per dataset. However, you are allowed to create multiple StatTools datasets in the same file. This is a good reason for giving each a descriptive name. Now it's your turn. Create a StatTools dataset for the bank data. 